Hello guys, I'm back doing a video regarding this plant, the uh, Restrepia muscifera, which I purchased from um, Orchids by Hauserman. Um, and again, uh, my kids are downstairs, they're playing, so uh, pardon the, uh, the noise. But anyway, um, there's something special about this plant and I'll talk to you guys about it. Um, I noticed that it actually bloomed. Um, but then, good thing I watched a uh, video about um, uh, Restrepia muscifera, muscifera, I'm not sure if I pronounced correctly. And apparently it blooms underneath its leaves. And I noticed this today. And there you go. So uh, it just bloomed for me. Um, let me take it out of this... Um, it, uh, from my grow tent and I'll talk more about it so I just pulled out this plant um, from my grow tent and uh, this is the Restripia muscifera I bought this from uh, orchids by Hauserman on March 10th uh, 2022 and um, uh, I guess I got it less than $20 uh, I bought it to, uh, with the Arangus species that I bought and also the Ascocentrum and uh, it came in a, uh, a plastic pot um, yeah it came in in a pla plastic pot but uh, I just transferred it in a net pot uh, my concern is um, this plant wants it moist but uh, since my uh, grow tent in the place where it's located is very humid so I'm afraid that it might be too moist too wet for it um, anyway um, I've just found today that it has a flower and if you look at the top I don't see any flowers but apparently um, this plant does um, bloom uh, underneath its leaves and uh, yeah, that, that is a really nice um, looking flower um, let me just do a zoom here a little bit there you go all right so there you go right, okay yeah really nice looking flower um, but yeah and I have another spike um, on this side here so yeah um, it's loving the conditions I'm giving it um, again um, in the lower part of the uh, grow tent temperatures at the at the most is around 75 Fahrenheit at night it would drop to 70 I checked last night uh, but it's getting cooler uh, here in Texas and uh, again our uh, AC is at like 74 um, uh, the thermostat is at 74 um, I forgot where I found out that this plant uh, blooms underneath its leaves um, I'm not sure if I watch it in YouTube or I read it in a uh, forum but uh, it already bloomed for me when I received it uh, maybe a few weeks after it was delivered but uh, there was uh, some pests uh, the white white fluffy pest I found um, behind the leaves at the time and I would have to say um, Again, uh, it could have come from Hauser because I don't have any issues with that with pests. Um, however, yeah, I, I need to destroy or remove the flowers because I used alcohol uh, to wipe the uh, the leaves, and then I used um, neem oil um, afterwards. Um, but I, yeah, after that, I didn't get any uh, repeat. Um, like infestations um, even with my other plants and I've been checking until now I mean every time I check my plants I always do a random check um, and I haven't seen any repeat of that problem and uh, now this is uh, I think I mentioned this before I'm not here to uh, uh, go after Hauserman I'm definitely still buying from them but uh, when you have hundreds and thousands of plants you know you do your best and I'm pretty sure these guys are might be using pasta that I can I can 100% uh, confirm that but um, it happens and you just need to be uh, uh, you know uh, always observe your plants and make sure that um, you catch it 
early on and I'm able to do that and since then I have no issues um, I would have to say though I never had any problems uh, with my orders from Andy's Orchids um, so whatever their methods are is working um, unfortunately in my end I don't have a way to quarantine the plants so um, but you know it's it's a mild infestation because it never occurred again um, but anyway um, I'm very happy that this finally bloomed uh, I cut a lot of leaves at the time but this guy was able to um, recover from uh, from cutting some of those leaves and let me uh, zoom in a little bit here I'll show you some of the moss that's been growing on the substrate here this is uh, one of the mosses that I've collected from uh, the orchids I received from Andes so basically when I received the orchids from Andes I collected at least three type two types of orchids and another one is a liverwort and I was able to propagate them I had a video about it and I'm still using that uh, so basically what I'm trying to do is uh, use the different kind of mosses and different plants so uh, you know if I ever needed more or if if my um, if my uh, if what I'm growing dies off for whatever reason at least I have enough um, but yeah this one thing that I can say though is uh, Restrepias are more tolerant of warmer conditions con compared to Mastevalias. So from what I've been reading, uh, Restrepias needs a cool, uh, a cool drop in temperature also. They are found in cloud forests, they need to be always mo moist. But uh, I found my Falcon Birdii, this Muscifera and the Dodsonii, they've been blooming really well for me. The Falcon Birdii has been blooming non-stop ever since I got it. Um, but yeah, let, let's just take a look on the uh, flower again. Uh, really, really nice. Um, I'm loving this camera. It's a non-pro or non-ultra Note 20. And um, I should have studied the uh, settings for this or you know, tried it. Um, because now I'm appreciating this camera more than ever because I've been using a Sony Handycam and basically uh, since this is a non-ultra no 20 I didn't really expect it to have good uh, a good camera but now I'm, I, I, I'm appreciating it um, yeah so yeah the, this is really nice again um, I don't have like the budget to buy high-end camera so for me this is good compared to the Sony hand Handycam which is also like the base model or the cheapest that I was able to get from Best Buy anyway um, yeah I, I really love um, yeah, this is the other side so yeah I'm um, sorry I'm really just appreciating how this guy looks uh, in this camera so I wonder uh, what the ultra cameras can do maybe even better than this but uh, anyway yeah so that's it just a short video just want to share with you guys um, you know this has bloomed for me and oh there's another spike wow so I thought I've already checked out all the spikes but uh, apparently there's more um, let's see here there there's one more here so nice so this guy is definitely happy with um, the conditions because I'm getting I'm gonna be getting multiple spikes like the Falcon Burger the uh, Datsonia continuous uh, continuously um, bloom for me but it's on a mount and I took off a cakey and repotted it in a mesh pot like this and kind of um, stopped blooming and maybe got stressed out but it started to grow new leaves also and the keiki is also starting to grow new leaves so I'm excited for this um, definitely Restrepias would be in my uh, list of a uh, list of uh, species or the genus that I'll be collecting more because at this point they, they've proven it I'm close to a year now since I've set up my uh, grow tent so Mastivalias, I mean I love Mastivalias because they're really miniature, um, however um, the two that I have even though one was able to uh, bloom, 
they're all uh, they're getting stressed um, but I'm hoping once the temperatures cool down this coming fall and winter I hope uh, I, uh, they are able to bounce back and then uh, able to flower but again when summer comes and it becomes really hot again then that would be a problem um, anyway again Restrepia muscifera uh, check out my other videos um, I have the Restrepia, Falkenbergia and the Dodsonii and uh, so, so far all of my Restrepias has bloomed for me so it, it's a it's a great great thing so uh, yeah that's it guys uh, again thank you and uh, have a good one